During the previous video, we've introduced the query rules feature and its purpose. Let's now see it in action for a typical use case, e-commerce merchandising. For search on e-commerce websites, business needs sometimes have to take over purely textual ranking. Query rules give this kind of granular control, and in this video, we will illustrate how to promote a single product, how to push a specific brand, or how to display a promotional banner. For this demo, we are going to use this test website using a sample set of e-commerce products. When searching for camera with the current index configuration, these are the results that I get. The reason they are ranked this way is because camera matched in the top attribute title and that they also have a high popularity score that is used as a custom ranking in the ranking formula. Let's now say that for the same query, I want to promote the GoPro Hero Plus action camera that does not even show up on the first page. I'm going to head over to my Algolia dashboard, to the app and index of my website, and then to the Query Rules tab. From there, I can add a new rule. I don't have any for the moment. I click the New Rule button. I will now set the query pattern that I want the rule to be triggered for, camera. As a consequence, I will add Promote Result, then look for the actual product that I want to promote and select it. I can even choose the exact position I want it to appear within the first 50 position. Now back to the website, querying for camera, I now see the GoPro Hero Plus product displayed in first position. Now. Let's say that instead of promoting a single item, I want to push forward a specific brand. For this example, I want GoPro products to appear first when looking for the same keyword camera. I will first remove the previous rule I added and start from scratch. I create a new rule. As a query pattern, I add camera. Then I will add the add query parameter as a consequence. This allows me to add any kind of query parameters that I want. And here I'm adding optional filters on the facet brand and the value GoPro. Optional filters will allow me to surface the GoPro brand without actually filtering on it which means that the GoPro results matching camera will appear first and then other results matching camera will appear after. For this last example, we will leverage query rules ability to return a whole JSON object as a consequence. In this JSON, you can add any info you like. For this example, we just want to display a promotional banner, so we will simply return the name of the image file. Instead of creating a new rule, I will enrich the previous rule we've made. For the query camera in the previous example, we promoted the GoPro products. Now I will edit this rule and add a new consequence, display specific info. This consequence accepts a JSON object and I'm going to only specify one attribute. Here I am naming it banner underscore IMG. And as a value, I am entering the image name that corresponds to the promotional banner that I want to put in place. I then click Save, and the rule is updated. In my front-end code, I have some logic that tests for the presence of this object in the JSON response returned by Algolia. If it is present, then I display the image name returned. As you can see in the demo site now, when I'm entering camera, the brand GoPro is promoted in the results as before, but I also have a nice banner on top of that, announcing a special discount. That was a quick demo of using query rules for merchandising purposes. In the next video, we will explore how to use the same feature to interpret user queries.